Good morning, and welcome to another Fast Tracks webinar. Webinars are weekly events that are held on Fridays at 9 a.m. Central, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, and they cover a, a range of products that we offer here at Fast Track Solutions. Um, to get to the webinars, you can go to our website at goftx.com. And once there, if you'll go over to the FTX Lifeline, Once you click on it, if you'll scroll about halfway down the page until you get to the webinar section, here you can go in and view the upcoming webinars as well as go in and look at the previous webinars and do their recordings. You just hit view recording and you can see the previous webinar that's been recorded. If you click on the subscribe and get notified button, you can get um, notified anytime there is an upcoming webinar, plus any other news from Fast Tracks. So let's get started. Today we're going to be going over doing EDI um, within the warehouse. So with EDI, there's a couple places that we need to go to, to actually get that set up. Now, the first thing we'd want to do is when we're doing accounts, which would be located under maintenance, And if we select our account and edit it, we have a link here that's called EDI Setup. So from within here, we tell it what our EDI method is. I'm currently just using file system, but you can also do an FTP. So if you have an FTP site, you would tell it what the FTP site is, the, the either IP address or the name of it. You would put in your login credentials, your username and password, and you would say if it's an active FTP or not. And then you would just save those credentials. So we'd want to do that on each one of our accounts to make sure they're going to the, the right place. Um, you know, it may be one of those issues to where if each account has a different folder, so you may have a different folder in the FTP setup for each account. So you just want to set it up individually for each account for your FTP um, to get that taken care of. All right, the next section that we want to look at for doing EDI is in inventory. So once we go into inventory, we actually have this called order settings. This is where we put our information at uh, for what we're going to be looking at to pull these EDI invoices in or these EDI orders. So again, if we're using an FTP site, we would check the box to monitor FTP site for orders. Again, we'd check it if it's an active FTP. We would go and enter our FTP site or IP address, whatever it is that we have to use to to navigate to our FTP. We would put in our login and our password. And if you notice right under the FTP site, we have a test and we have a save. What this is for is once you put in your IP address and your, your credentials, we can actually test that connection to make sure that it's okay. It tells me there's an invalid password because I don't have one entered. If I have the correct password entered in, this one gives me an, that I entered the wrong password. So once I do enter the correct one, it tells me the FTP tested OK. So then I'd want to save it so I'd save those credentials. The other option we have for uh, monitoring for FTP or for EDI orders is using a file system. This could be used like if you're on a VPN with your, um, with your stores that are doing ordering from you. Um, your stores could actually send 
the file from the retail side over into a shared folder somewhere on the network that you both can access. And in which case we would just use the file path. We would go in and we browse the file path that we're gonna put our orders at. And the same as above with FTP, I can test it and make sure it is testing okay. And then I would save it. All right, so once we have the, the EDI set up for our, our accounts and for um, the orders to come in. And one thing I did forget to mention on the accounts, uh, that EDI setup is where you're going to be sending invoices to. Um, the order settings is where they're going to send orders for you to be able to process. And then under accounts and maintenance, that is where you're sending your EDI invoices back to your customer. All right, but once we have everything set up and we're going to go through and process EDIs, we would just go to order monitoring. Um, I do have the file system settings checked to monitor. So if I go to order monitoring, it looks for that location to see any orders that I may have. So the, the process of doing the EDI is as simple as order monitoring. I can go in and I can select one, um, one order and I can tell it to process. I can tell it to process all. And I have the options here. I can auto print, which means when I go to process these, it'll automatically print these out as well. I can remove where the warehouse quantity on hand is equal to zero or less than zero. So if there's an item on the order that I don't have in stock or it shows that I have a negative amount, it'll just take those off the order uh, for me. So they won't, won't be on there when I go to uh, actually look at the order and fill it. And the last option is to automatically check for pre-books to see if any of these orders should have pre-books assigned to them as well. But if we just click on the first one and we tell it to process file, it tells us that our EDI order was processed. And as you can see, it goes away from our order monitoring list. And if we look at our orders, we can see that the first one here is our EDI that we just processed. Um, we can tell that it's an EDI by our method here to show EDI. It gives us our amount, uh, same as in any other order. And again, I can go through and do one or all of these. So if I wanted to process the rest of them, it's going to ask me if I want to process all EDI orders. I would tell it yes. Now those two are also processed. If I refresh my screen, you can see that I now have those two in here as well. All right, so that's actually us processing the EDI. Now we have orders that we can go in and pick and fulfill. But like I mentioned before, the EDI setup in the accounts is where we're gonna send the, um, the EDI orders or the EDI invoices back to our customers. And the way that would work, for example, if I was to go in and let's just go ahead and fill one of these. Um, and as you see, by default, it puts it on hold when I process an EDI. I'm just going to uncheck it so this one's not on hold. I'm going to tell it to pick this order. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and close this one. All right, so my order 2986 has been, been closed out. If I go to my invoiced orders, here's the order that we just picked and closed. So now to send this invoice over to my customer for this account, all I would do is just hit send EDI. And it tells me that my EDI file was, was created. If I was using FTP, it would tell me that it was was sent, um, but this will actually send 
that invoice over to your customer and they can then finish up with what they need to do to receive that into their, their inventory. All right, so that pretty much covers um, EDI and Warehouse. I hope everybody learned something today. And just as a reminder that webinars are weekly. Um, and to sign up for those, you just go to ftx.com. You can do slash webinars. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you can get notified of when upcoming webinars are. And go ahead and uh, register for those as well. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.